everyone today we will discuss about climbing film evaporator it is also called as rising film evaporator it is a type of a long tube evaporator in which high velocity feed enters the tubes from the bottom and hence the apparatus is named so it is a type of superior to falling film evaporator as the upstream movement of particles to remain in a liquid feed so we will discuss about its structure working principle and let's start that its principle it's based on the ascending force of the stream produced during the boiling causes the liquid and the vapors to flow upwards at the same time increased production of vapors and the product is perceived as thin film on the walls of the tubes and the liquid rises this cool current upward movement against the gravity has a greater effect of creating turbulence in the liquid this turbulence will lead to the upstream movement of the liquid towards the top towards the deflector and will the vapor will be separated out from the vapor outlet now we will discuss about its construction it is a simple type of evaporator in this the tubes of diameter about 2.5 to 5 cm and the length of about 20 to 30 feet are held by sheets both at top and bottom feed and the stream inlets along with two outlets are condensed and non condensed gases are present a curved deflector is present in the vapor head of the evaporator which is used to deflect or uh, separate the condensed and non condensed gases also a cyclone separator removes the vapor from the vapor outlet the liquid is fed from the bottom of the stream compartment now we will see this video and we will see about how it is working as we will see that the feed is going upward and with the help of deflector the vapors are going from vapor out outlet and the condensed material concentrated material is going toward the concentrated outlet now we will discuss its working evaporator tubes are held externally by stream as the temperature is uneven within the tubes due to steam the feed begins to boil it has traveled half way in the tubes as the feed moves upwards its temperature decreases due to evaporation resulting in formation of vapors these vapors form small bubbles which aggregate to form large bubbles and travel upwards as we can see in the diagram this mixture of the vapors and the liquids come out of the tube and strikes a deflector what is the purpose of deflector the purpose of deflector is to separate liquid from the vapors vapors are removed from the outlet while the liquid is sent to the recirculation pipe for the as a concentrated product as we see in the diagram what is happening that the formation of small bubbles is happening and which is aggregating to form a large bubbles these large bubbles then form a film around the tubes which will make the vapors to evaporate towards the top and go next we will discuss about the various advantages of having climbing film evaporator it includes large surface areas provided for heating then the other evaporators such as steam jacketed kettle and we had discussed horizontal tube evaporator and many other due to the high velocity of food feed in this case the velocity of feed is high because because of the resistance for the heat transfer at the boundary layers are reduced so the velocity of feed is high it is suitable for the heat sensitive processes because very short contact time of feed and heating surface as we can see that the velocity is also high so there will be low time for the contact next it is suitable for form forming liquids the liquids with the forms or form, form producing liquids it is suitable for that also it occupies less flow space and it is easy to be maintained next we will discuss about its disadvantages its disadvantages includes cleaning and maintenance is very difficult for the large evaporators it requires large head space it is not advisable for the high highly viscous fluids as we can see that because highly viscous fluids takes time to be get evaporated it is associated with high pressure drop it is less economical than steam jacketed kettle horizontal tube evaporator and other evaporators next we will discuss about its applications in our daily life 
where it is used in the industries it is used in the effluent treatment production of the polymers used in pharmaceutical companies and for the thermal desalination that is for the removal of salt in the saline water next as we can see that the industrial equipments are made up of the steel it includes a various infrastructure as you can see in the pictures and we end upon that okay thank you